So I talk with a lot of my clients about the power of using toys to motivate their dogs in training and using them as a teaching tool. I'm going to do a series of videos here with my own dog Gibbs and I'm going to demonstrate how exactly I go about doing that. In this first video I'm going to be working with Gibbs on cleaning up his heel positioning. Um, I didn't originally teach him the flip heel like I do with a lot of the dogs that I train nowadays. Um, and as a result, his is just kind of sloppy. You can see he sits crooked quite often. So I'm going to teach him to reposition himself on his own. What I'm doing is I'm using the tennis ball as his big motivator. It's his most motivating thing in the world. He wants that ball more than anything else in life. He would probably take it over food if he had the choice. So because he wants the ball that much, he's going to figure out how to get me to give it to him. That's essentially what I'm doing here, is I want him to think that he can activate me. He's teaching me. He's training me. He has complete control over whether or not I throw that ball, but he just has to figure out what gets me to do it. So as you can see with a lot of these reps here, it takes him two or three tries. And I'm giving him minimal help. Occasionally I'll give him a no marker or maybe a little pat on my leg only because he knows those two things already and otherwise it wouldn't mean anything to him. But he already knows what, the, what no means. He knows so when I pat my leg, I want him to be next to me in the heel. His is, is just pretty sloppy. But if I pat my leg and he doesn't get in the right spot or he thinks he's in a heel because it's always been good enough in the past and I've let him get away with being sloppy, nothing's happening. But as soon as he shifts over to the right spot, exactly where I want him, boom, ball gets thrown. With enough practice, this will start becoming more and more habitual and it won't take him two or three tries. He'll just do it right away. So that's pretty much it for this session here. He was actually getting tired. Um, I got the camera out a little bit late when I decided to go ahead and start shooting this stuff. Um, as these videos progress, you'll, you'll see him start to understand more and more what exactly the heel position is now. This is how you clean up something that was pretty sloppy before. Um, and unfortunately, I let him get sloppy. so. It's not exactly applicable to teaching it from scratch. It can be, um, but what we're doing here with Gibbs, what I'm showing is how to reteach a position the way I want it. If your dog is kind of gets a heel and isn't quite there, then absolutely, yeah, you can follow the same exact process if you have something that motivates the dog this much. You can use food, um, and I do frequently in my training, if you have a dog that really likes playing tug of war, or really likes a certain ball or toy, um, you can turn that training time, or that play time rather, into training time by, by working it this way. He's having a blast. He doesn't really know that he's learning, but he is. So stay tuned. I'm going to try to post several of these a week. Um, and if you guys want to see me work through anything specific or in particular with Gibbs, maybe something you're having issues with with your dog, just let me know um, and I can absolutely try to make that happen. Have a good and